In this video, I'm going to be doing a guide on course, so if you do enjoy this kind of content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also go follow me on my social medias. But let's get into the video, and I hope you all do enjoy. Okay, so we're going to be doing our core guide. So with core, the, the stance I recommend is strength stance because it takes away from dexterity and... To be honest, dexterity is not important at the moment. Or you can play bass if you want. Speed stance is also a pretty good idea because, you know, four speed is quite bad. But I normally just play strength because I don't like having dexterity. Okay, so the first true combo we're going to be going over is D-Light into Side Light. This works at low damages. I missed the D light then, but yeah, it works at low damages. It does 30 damage, but if you're too close, you cannot do it. That's the thing. Like if I'm here, you cannot do it. What you'll do in that situation when you're too close is you'll do a jump up and then do a dare. So jump, turn around, dare. D light, dare. That is our next true combo as well, actually. And it works at pretty much every damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. I know it works to like deep in red. I did not mean to throw. Like, here, it still works. It's actually a pretty decent kill option. Like, I think it kills... Yeah, 140. I'm going to check. Does it kill at 130? If you're stacked and you can do D like there and kill at 130 on Small Boy Haven, that's good. But one thing that I love about Core is the next true combo that I'm going to be showing you, which is exclusive to Core, D light into Neutral Sig. This does 40 damage. If you want to get someone from zero to yellow, there you go. And it also works in high damages. And it kills at, if I remember, yeah, 130 on Small Brohaven. It also kills at 120. It's a, look at that, it kills at 120. It's a very good way of killing instead of doing like D like Dare. Which you can always follow up with a Nair, by the way. It's, a, it's, a, it's got dodge windows, D like Dare, and then jump up and Nair. It's got around 10 dodge windows if you chase dodge it, but it catches people off guard. That's what I do a lot of the time. I will do D light there, chase dodge in there, and then I'll fall down and I'll, you know, get them with the nair basically. But I'm going to be showing you all some other stuff now. So when you get around, I don't know, 50 damage, D light set is your best option. That is true combo. Like I can do it very consistently. And obviously you can just do D light into N sig, but if if you don't have that opportunity to end sig just there it's also a good kill option which it kills at i think 140 on small brohaven i'm gonna have to check it kills at 140 yeah and also i'm gonna be showing you how to do the russian mafia so we'll get him to like 150 health and i'll be showing you how to do that so d light recovery there you go, look, I can do it fairly consistently. This is one of your best kill options. So you just D-Light, jump, but as you jump, you recover straight away. Like, I would show you my keyboard right now, but it's very hard to. And then you just, for the down air, you can either turn there, which is better, because that has a bit of dodge frame. That is true. You literally cannot dodge out of it. The higher damage you get, let's say you go to 180, you can side air, and then if they get even higher, Nah, I'm gonna bring this back. So if we go previous frames, I'm gonna show you what it's like. So here, as you can see, I stomped. I stomped very close and then I jump and you can already see the startup frames for the recovery. That's how, that's how tight the input is. I can get it. So this is when it starts the recovery. I literally, it was like 10 frames after, but I jump one two three four it was actually three frames after i did i started the recovery that's how tight the input is but it's such a great combo when you can do it because it is a true combo but also you can also style on them so if they're a bit higher you can do a v there's nothing really to say about the v though it's just the recovery is exhausted so you need to get it as tight as you can basically you gotta get very close to it and then like there, I was too low, so I messed it up. And then for the for the actual set, you kind of got a drop, but I'll show you. Obviously, the D-Light recovery is exactly the same. Then here, I wait. I get a little bit underneath. It's not much. And then it's the exhausted recovery. Bang. And then, as you can see here, I dropped for about 10 or 15 frames, which is about a quarter of a second. Obviously, you shouldn't count in frames. Like, that is not healthy if you're going to be doing counting frames in in the actual match you just gotta be like 
You basically, you just gotta find that sweet spot for you. But the V is very simple after you get used to it. The best kill options, do you like Sir? Do you like Dare? If I can actually hit the Dare, it's, it's, I need to like, take him down a bit. This one is if you're like stacked though. Do you like Dare is true? Do you like Sir? Do you like into Ensig? That is the best kill option if I'm being honest. Ensig has so much force and look at it, it hits grounded. MC got on court hits grounded. That, that, that's what I like about it. It's just it's just amazing. Also, a quick tip that I do, which catches a lot of people off guard, is if you're in neutral, you know, dash dancing, doing whatever, just randomly whack out a side sink. It kills so early. Look at that, it almost killed at 120 and we're in the middle of the stage. There you go, it literally kills at 130. Like the second you start getting into like orange, like light red, you know? If you just come out and you're like this, yeah, you know, and then you go bang, it kills. It's amazing. That's all I have for Hammer, so I'm going to show you all Gauntlets. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you all some dodge reads for Gauntlets. This is the hardest part, to be honest. There's not really many true combos on Gauntlets. It's more read what your opponent does and then just do it. So, neutral dodge. I'm going to move them over here for this, just, just, just to make it easier, to be honest. So the one we're going to be doing is side light. We're going to fast fall. Now nah. we're going to be doing this. So I'm going to I'm going to go back. So we start off with the side light, and then we fast fall. Look, he dodged neutral, and then we jump up. Nah. Then we gravity cancel down light, and then we reverse the nah. Recovery, and then we can nah again. I missed the nah, but you can do it again. The next dodge we'll be going over is if they dodge up this is a very simple one so you just do side light recovery and then you can also nah but you just gotta like exhaust the recovery basically there we go like that and then you can follow it up to however they react basically go on let's say just play off what they do and make up something basically <laughs> but if you do side light recovery straight away you gotta delay the recovery so if you do it straight away look we go through but if we delay it we get all this control over them because they can't dodge that because it's only a four dodge window. So they, they cannot do anything. If we get like a zero to yellow on them. It's a, it's a, it's pretty good actually. So here is the next dodge read that you can do. This is for if they dodge outwards. You do side light, side light recovery. I messed it up. That. And then you can also nair if they're on low damage and then you can just follow up with all this kind of stuff. You know how it is. Or you can do side light, GCD light, recovery into Nair. So it starts off with a side light, and then you jump up, do a gravity cancel down light, chase dodge, recovery, and then neutral air. That's it. it, it brings them from zero to yellow. It's, it's good, it's good. The next one we're gonna be going over is if they dodge in, and this one is actually a little bit harder to do, so I'm gonna move him over. That is what you need to do. So I'm gonna go to frame step and I'm gonna transport it back. So it starts off with a side light. And then look, he dodged out, we do a nair. Then GCD light, we do the chase dodge into the reverse nair. Recovery, nair. So it's very, very similar to the first combo that I've shown you. I'll, I'll put that on screen right now. It's very similar to if they spot dodge, except for that it's just extra nairs and all that. And you've just got to like turn, basically. Okay, so we're going to be covering the dodge down now. And this one is a little bit harder. But there's a lot more. There's a lot more freedom with this one. You just got to basically fast fall now. And then you can do whatever you want. So obviously you've got the side light at the start. Then you, you fast fall now. Jump. Yeah, because I, I hit the ground, I jump, I side air, I recovery, and then I reverse nair. That gets them down to like orange, and it, it's just pretty good, it's pretty good. Also, quick tip for court only, if they dodge down, you can do side light into D-Sig. Like that. That is, that, that's, that's true, that's a read. And also, let me show you, let me show you something. So, if they're at like, I don't know, let's try 120. That kills. If they decide to spot dodge, you can hold the D-Sig and they'll fall to it. Another thing with core that I just I just thought I should show you, like there's not really many, many true combos, but this is one that it works. D-line to Nair, but then you can core N-Sig right after if 
you're really if you're really low though at the bottom and you hit him with that gcd light you can always end sig after and it can kill this is the first one gcd light into chase dodge and air also another true combo we can go over is d light dash jump into dare to dash jump you press your dash button and jump this is what i did so i did i did my down light i literally jumped but as you can see the smoke set so i did a dash that's why it's called a dash jump because you dash you know how you can dash dance and you can do it backwards forwards however and that is that's just such a good option to be honest because it's good it does a decent amount of damage like it does like 30 damage and that's straight away i'm gonna show you all something else which is kind of crazy as well so if they jump in nah gcd like recovery a, a common thing that people see with gauntlets is the crazy edge guards that people will be able to pull off and they're like i want to do that so i'm gonna show i'm gonna actually show you all how to edge guard quickly so i'm gonna put this bot right at the edge i'm gonna make her jump i am and then i can narrow off stage like and then you can do stuff like this pretty simple so i need to put the position reset on to so i can put her here and then position reset so now to ground pound is good and then pretty much what this is my advice swap out between your nares and ground pounds so what you'll do is i nair i need to nair her off stage and then i'll ground pound straight away and then i'll wait for her to come up nair and then i'll ground pound again but you can also do like ground pound nair. and you can just do all sorts of stuff off stage off stage play though is very risky it's a high risk high reward so don't always go for it, don't always fish, because eventually they will punish you. So this concludes our guide of core. This is mainly just the fundamentals, but you can easily get to like platinum or diamond with this tutorial. You just gotta follow the combos and the dodge reads. If you get all the dodge reads, you'll be perfectly fine. And if you wanna do your own edge guarding, or there's any advice you wanna give to someone, let me know down below. If there's any tips you have for core, put them in the comment section. I want to hear what you have to say, honestly, and you never know. We may may do a part two to this, a more in-depth guide, and we may use some of your tips. Let's try and get 100 likes on this video in the first in the first month of it being out. It probably will not happen, if I'm being 100% honest. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, like, if you enjoy what you see and you want to see more content, of course. I make videos on Core, I make videos on Brawlhalla, Valorant, every single Sunday at 8pm UK time and not gonna lie, I'm, I'm trying to come up with more creative video ideas for you all and I've got a lot of video ideas which I'm gonna be doing pretty soon and you should stay tuned for them if you enjoy content like this. But that's all I really have to say, go and follow me on my social medias if you haven't done so already and you want to keep up to date with me and I'll see you all later. Have a great day and don't forget to stay safe.